top five signs you're overwatering your lawn. Hi, Bob Carr here with the Bob Carr Show, presented by TLC. As we move into the hottest part of summer, you'll be watering your lawn more and more frequently. After all, the math is pretty simple. Hotter weather plus less frequent rain equals what? More watering. But more isn't always better. The old adage, too much of a good thing applies to your lawn too. Too much water can be very damaging. In fact, too much water can be more damaging to your lawn than too little water. So how do you know if you're overwatering your lawn? Good question. It's not necessarily an easy thing to know. Your lawn certainly can't tell you enough already, but there are some common clues that will key you in on an overwatering problem. These are the most apparent. Number one, weed speeds. Are weeds growing everywhere in your lawn with amazing speed? That could be a sure sign of overwatering. Certain weeds will absolutely thrive in a too wet environment. Nut sage and crabgrass, for example. Number two, thatch patch. Thatch is a common and quite unsightly lawn problem. Thatch occurs when a layer of partially decomposed grass parts, roots and stems, build up into a sort of thick mat on the surface of the ground. Frequent watering can discourage grass roots from growing deep into the soil. There's no need for roots to grow deep because they can find all the water they need near the surface. Number three, bug boom. A boom in the population of harmful insects in your lawn is a problem that can result from the thatch. Thatch can provide a wonderfully sheltering habitat for insects, and many of these insects can wreak havoc upon your lawn and landscape. Number four, fungus among us. Types of fungus love a moist environment. So if you've got mushrooms popping up in your yard, that's a solid indication that you're overwatering your lawn at least in those areas. In fact, there are many different types of fungus that were eagerly await an overwatered lawn. Rust is a prime example. Number five, water movement. Other common sense clues can clue you into the fact that your lawn is overwatered. A partially spongy feel to the surface as you walk across your lawn or runoff from your lawn during watering. So how do you fix the flooding? How do you stop it? Any or all the telltale signs above will signify that you're overwatering your lawn. The solution to the problem is obvious enough. Reduce the amount of water you're applying, right? But how much? That's not so obvious. Striking the just right balance of water for your lawn can be rather difficult. It's a science. You have to juggle a number of variables, including the unknown of how much rainfall Mother Nature will be delivering in between. Overall though, try to water deeply, a half inch to one inch, but less frequently, every one to three weeks. The frequency and quantity of watering, of course, will be determined by these conditions. But the best solution is a TLC Hydrowise Smart Sprinkler System. Advantages that modern smart sprinkler technology offers can take the burden off your shoulders and probably do a more efficient job of determining when and how much you water. So when it comes to water, don't go overboard. Very easy to do. And get the most efficient watering program from a TLC Hydrowise Smart Sprinkler System. You'll never, never, ever have to worry about under or over watering your beautiful lawn again. Drop a comment, give us a call, shoot us a message if you want to learn more about our irrigation services. And as always, thanks for watching the Bob Carr Show. Talk to you soon.